What's going on everybody? We're getting closer, just 24 days away from the start of the high school football season in East Tennessee. So today we're checking in with the two squads that kick everything off on Thursday, August 17th, and we're starting with Campbell County. The Cougars showed a ton of flashes last season, but a couple tight losses kept them from a winning campaign, and the team finished 5-6. and six. One standout the team is surely happy to have back, QB Landon Hensley. He put up numbers last season, over 3,200 yards through the air and a school record 39 passing touchdowns as a sophomore. He also set a school record with seven touchdowns in a single game, and oh yeah, he did it twice. Eyes on him as a legitimate Mr. Football contender this year, and the Cougars' success this season revolves around him. We start with our quarterback, Landon Hensley. He was an All-State guy as a sophomore last year and, you know, one of the elite quarterbacks in the area. So, obviously, we're very excited about Landon. You know, he had a, a phenomenal season last year as a sophomore, but what's been impressive is just how he's continued to grow and, and the work ethic that he has to take his game to a whole other level. And, and I think you're even going to see a better version of Landon Hensley this season. Campbell County will open the season up on the road against Halls on Thursday, August 17th. And hey, speak of the Devils, the Red Devils, that is. They took their lumps last year in a 2-9 and nine campaign. It was the first year with head coach Brent Hughes at the helm. Now in year two, Hughes is hoping to take a bigger step at his alma mater. He says it means a lot to him to put a team on the field that the Halls community can be proud of. And that sense of pride seems to be felt all the way throughout the roster. I really put a lot of pressure on myself to really try to make a difference and you know uh, the biggest thing is is we have such great people in our community that rally around our kids every day and rally around our coaches and our school and our community just couldn't be more thankful for it. Putting on these colors it's for me it's really it's kind of like getting into a completely different mindset it's all about that hard work you know making sure that everything's 100 percent make sure it's done right and like perfectly. Halls gets home turf for that Thursday night kickoff against Campbell County. Once again, that's set for August 17th at 7 p.m. Back to you. Frank, thank you.